Okay, another little odd uh, topic discussion. Um, I'm gonna be explaining who Oko is, um, Orisha Oko, an Orisha who represents the earth and the work of agriculture and cultivating. Um, he is related strongly with Ogun and Olokun. He comes from the territory of West Oyo. Um, especially amongst women, he's considered judge of disputes among the Orishas. He is who provides food for the world as being the earth. The father of the land, knowing the secrets of farming and maintaining the harvest and corpse fertile. He maintains the stability of life through the, uh, his plantation. Uh, he tends to the crops on a daily basis to ensure a good harvest. Uh, ensuring the prosperity of the harvest, uh, his messengers are the bees, uh, which represent fertility and prosperity. Barren women come to him and he forms a trilogy. Uh, he is responsible. Um, so if you're having fertility problems, you can go to him. He is responsible for harvest harvest and the rain. He has a pack with Odudua who brings the rain. Um, he has two personalities of day and night. In the day he is pure. At night he disguises as Iku. He receives the corpses which he gives to Yewa and Oya sent through Babaluaye. Okay? Orisha Oko is not directly uh, received to the head, and he is done through Yemaya, okay? Um, Oro Orisha Oko due to the curse of Iguana. His number is seven, and his colors are pink and sky blue. Uh, his feast day is uh, March 22nd and May 15th. He has a Catholic saint... Um, uh, which is San Isidoro. Uh, he, his sacrifices are male goats, roosters, and pigeons. Um, okay, he's, he's a protector of hard workers. He normally is in the backyard. Okay, Orisha's, uh, Orisha Oko is the child of Obatala and Yembo, which Yembo is one of Yemaya's roads, caminos. Okay, um, he, uh, Okay, some people say Orisha Oko has one eye, and that is because he was the first Orisha to discover his ashe. Okay, like I was saying, uh, he uh, Oko teaches the mysteries of life and death, uh, and he feeds us in life. Um, There are many patakis about Orisha Oku, but Orisha Oku name means Orisha of the penis. Or Orisha of the farm. Okay? He normally is given two coconuts which represent the male genitalia, okay? Um, you know, his ritual objects are normally, normally painted white and red. Um, I'm not going to speak about all his avatars or roads, but like I was saying, um, his number is seven. His sacred place in nature is the plowed fields, fertile black earth. Um, his colors are red and white, but his eleke can come in baby blue and pink. All right. And um, so... So like I was saying, he was one of the first Orishas to discover his Ashe when he arrived here to Earth. But he was tired of tolling like the fields all day to feed humanity. Uh, he complained to Olofi about his uh, task and Olofi explained to his children uh, that uh, these are just patakis, but he... He explained to his children to be hard workers. <laughs> um, so he also works with the dead. So like I was saying, he can get. He's the one that gives the spirits to Oya. 
or Yewa. Um, and this is my little video on Orisha Oko. Uh, 